what up? It is the Ant Man channel, and it is, um, you know, I never know the date. Thursday, October thirty first, or yeah, two thousand thirteen. I got an article in front of me here from the Clash Daily .com, or just Clash Daily .com. Um, this particular article is called Cruise Control. You already know who that is. Ted Cruz tells Trayvon's mother why standard ground laws can't possibly be racist. I guess for the person with common sense, it can't be. You can read more about this on YouTube if you want to check this out. ClashDaily.com, Cruise Control. Tell, uh, Ted Cruz tells Trayvon's mother standard ground laws can't possibly be racist. Uh, Sabrina Fulton, the mother of Trayvon Martin, who doesn't even have the last name, same last name, who was, <laughs> I'm going to go there, who was shot and killed by George Zimmerman in early 2012, appeared on Capitol Hill Tuesday for a hearing regarding the controversial Stand Your Ground laws. When it came time for Senator Ted Cruz, which is a representative and a Republican of Texas, to speak at the hearing, he informed the still grieving mother that Stand Your Ground laws actually benefit African Americans as much as, if not more than, they do whites. Everything's about race for the yuppies out there. You guys can't see past the colors of anyone's skin. It's just uh, pathetic. Cruz began to op by offering his condolences for Fulton's loss. Uh, of course, it's, it's, it's tragic, but quickly uh, moved to on to defend the trial by a jury process that found Zimmerman not guilty of murder. He also noted correctly that the subject of this hearing, the Stand Your Ground Laws, was not a defense that Mr. Zimmerman raised. So this entire hearing, the topic of this hearing, is not the issue on which that trial turned. Though Zimmerman's defense team did not end up using Stand Your Ground, um, it did come out during the trial that Zimmerman was likely aware of the law's protection when he shot Martin. We know that some in our political process have a desire to exploit that tragic violent incident for agendas that have nothing to do with that young man who lost his life Cruz continued we have seen efforts to undermine the verdict of the jury and more broadly to inflame racial tensions that i think are sad and irresponsible sad irresponsible pathetic dishonorable i disdain all of you that think that you can take advantage of a young man's life of uh, you know being taken away for your own for your own uh, personal gain that's pathetic and weak and I disdain you. I think that you're pathetic and lower than scum, man. How dare you use somebody uh, and the, the loss of their life to just, you know, push some type of, you know what I mean? Like, just, it, it's just pathetic, man. It's just, you know, like, um, it just reminds me just how, how easily people will turn on everybody just for a little bit of gain, just for a little bit of, like, uh, you know, entitlement like oh yeah look at what happens well you know if you were to take your head out of your butt and go watch and, and stop watching the television and the mainstream media then you could go look at some real articles on the internet and see that this is a this is a very common thing for uh, a young african-american man or young man to attack even other young african-americans but you know it's kind of becoming like a hobby and like a sport for them to just go after white people and the mainstream media thinks it's cool they think it's like trendy too they want it to go they want it to become a trend then Cruz got to one of his primary points which concerned that effect uh, of standard ground law uh, on african-american communities he rejected the notion put forward earlier in the hearing that no one could reasonably believe that standard ground laws protect those in the african-american communities who are victims of violent crimes he found that idea particularly, uh, particularly remarkable since a great many African Americans find themselves victims of violent crime and have asserted this defense to defend themselves, defend their families, defend their children. Cruz also cited that fact that in 2004, a state senator in Illinois by the name of Barack Obama co-sponsored an expansion of Illinois law uh, providing civil immunity for those who use justifiable force to defend themselves as evidence that similar laws could not possibly be racially biased. The notion that stand your ground laws or some form of veiled racism may be a convent, uh, convenient political attack, he said, but it is not borne out of, out by the facts remotely. So here's what I got out of this, Mrs. Mrs. Uh, Fulton. I really, my condolences. I'm sorry that that for your loss. I really am. I'm. It's tragic. You know, I cannot imagine what that would, what that's like. I really can't. But, but I think you're more emotional. You're you're more controlled and governed emotionally toward your toward your case here, um, you know. If you let your son watch MTV and just want to be mimicking the thug gangster Illuminati lifestyle, then if he's gonna go out and try to practice that lifestyle, he's gonna get what he deserves. He's gonna run into the wrong mofo and he's gonna get shot. 
And that's just what you get, in my opinion, man. I mean, I don't, I'm tired of all this misplaced compassion. If someone is evil and rotten and wants to do others harm, they, de they deserve to get justice and punished for that. And you know what I mean? And, and just to say, like, you know, uh, be, and, and to turn this into a race war is pathetic, okay? Um, you're being used by a scientific dictatorship to be used as a small type of rebellious sect to go up against all the law-abiding citizens in the country that don't look at things like that, you know? Um, don't look at things the same way as you. There's something bigger in this than what you think, you know? And you can't be using your, your, your tragic son's his life being lost as a way to push it against the guy who killed him because you got to look at it in all fairness man even if it hurts emotionally this isn't a this isn't you know i don't know how to explain this but it's just to me i cannot grasp the how how people can even turn this into racism i mean this isn't about racism this is about a man being attacked and him defending himself and having to shoot the guy because he was about to just put his lights out i think anybody might have done that I get very angry if somebody even looks at me sideways, you know what I mean? I, inside I do, I'm like, what are you looking at, you know what I mean? I like to fight, I love fighting, but not that I go around picking fights or anything, you know, I like to keep it professional, I like to go to the gym and stuff like that, but like, and I, and I, and you know, I took a lot of martial arts and I'm very, you know, I'm very, what I would say, I'm very self-controlled, man, I can, you know, I'm disciplined, so that's the thing that's missing in, in with the young kids in the, these days, they're missing discipline and they think that they could just go around and do whatever they want and they get slapped with it. And then everybody's like, oh, why'd you have to do that? Well, because that's what you get in real life. There's no easy way of putting it, you guys. So don't don't be using all this. Don't be buying into all this stuff, man. You guys are you guys are being used, like in the words of Joseph Stalin, as useful idiots. God bless you, and I love you all.